we are very excited about this way of recycling because now we have the opportunity not just to recycle it, that it doesn't go to landfill, but we actually make new products of it. The response was incredible. I mean, those plastic bottles turned up all over the place and we were like, wow, okay, so people really want this. And then when you show them the product that you can make with it, they're even more excited. It just blows people's minds. You just got to look inside the bathroom cabinet of everyone's houses to understand that everyone goes through a mountain of beauty products every single year. Within beauty packaging, the scale of the problem is enormous. So depending on which report you read, there's 120 billion units of cosmetic packaging that gets used every year. 10% gets recycled, roughly. And the reason why only 10% gets recycled is because, one, it's componentry. Within a pump or a spray, you've got four or five different material types, all assembled in different ways. You've got a level of complexity there which the current infrastructure within the recycling sector doesn't cope with very well. So the customer brings back their beauty packaging. It's collected from M&S back to our depot in Leeds where we then sort, wash, shred the material and at that point we can either put it back into new packaging or make accessories from it. As a company, we also have that responsibility. We have to make the products that we make recyclable, but also make it easier for consumers to bring it back. So the beauty of this project with Handle is that we have full control and transparency over where the material goes and what happens to the material. It's managed in the UK, sorted in the UK, and we control what happens to it. With sustainability, seeing is believing for, for a lot of customers. Having a product in their hand where they've contributed to the creation of that product is really, really powerful. <laughs>